Uh, my name is Neil Ryan Tucker. I'm a photographer. I had the opportunity to um, shoot one of my best friend's um, wedding. Um, I was also the best man, so it made it a little, a little difficult, but uh, we decided to go ahead and do it. Um, he liked my style and um, just refused to pay the astronomical fee that, that most people charge for that. And um, <clears throat> so it was, it was a great experience for me um, to be on the opposite side of that and to, to document his big day. He knew what he was going to get and I knew what I was going to give him, so it made it, it made it simple in that regard. But the pressure was, was just something that, that I'll never forget. Um, I'm glad it's over with. It turned out great. Um, they, were, they were super happy with, with the way it all worked out. Shake. <laughs> Pat Thomas actually has carried on his dad's legacy. Um, son Thomas passed away in the mid 90s and was photographed by, by some very famous people as well. From one shop led me to another shop to another shop where I actually wound up buying <clears throat> the artwork and, and asked, you know, how easy is it to, to track this guy down? Um, because I would like to take a portrait of him. And, and this woman pointed me in the right direction. We showed up at the uh, Highway 61 Blues Museum in Leland, Mississippi. And lo and behold, Pat Thomas was just standing there with his guitar in a tip jar. He obliged and uh, we actually wound up shooting for about three hours. We kind of followed him around a little bit and um, he was just kind of playing away, and uh, we just kind of did our thing. Um, trip to New York was, um, <clears throat> was, uh, was a wonderful experience to begin with. Working with um, Michael Yuri at the Chelsea Hotel was, um, was definitely something that I will remember forever. Michael and I have known each other since we were um, in grade school, and um, this was just a, a perfect opportunity for me to uh, ramp up my portfolio just a bit. Um, with a, with a famous face and he um, graciously obliged uh, to give me a couple hours of his time. He gave me a couple ideas. Um, he was wearing about four layers of clothes because it was 18 degrees outside. One of the main reasons I wanted to shoot him was for the simple fact that his character on Ugly Betty is such a, um, a very glitzy, um, the costumes that he wears are very bright and vibrant and um, he's been photographed by some professional faces. Um, camera-wise, and um, I wanted to strip that completely away. The face value, street clothes, you know, just to, to show there's a, a human being behind this very eccentric portrayal that, he, that we see every, every Thursday night. My experience with agents has been uh, a bit of a rocky path so far. After my shoot in New York with Michael, I had really high expectations that, for whatever re naive expectations, that as soon as I got home, for some reason, that my life was going to change just because I had a celebrity in my portfolio. Out of the hundred or so that I sent out, I got a response from four. Uh, one being neutral and the other three being, we really don't care. And, and that was a, a big shock and it really made me kind of step back and realize, realize just how tough this market really is and, and how hard it's going to be to really accomplish what I want to do. Currently looking for a, a 9 to 5 solid paying gig at the moment. Um, to... Photography is not um, cutting, the, cutting the bills at this point and um, learning that it's going to be a, a long winding journey to the end. But in the meantime I've got a few things going on. Um, keeping the spirits up, and hopefully um, within the next, I don't know, hopefully five years or so, things will be a little different to where, I'm hoping that things will flip-flop to where nine to five becomes full-time photography and <clears throat> um, graphic design or whatever it is that I wind up doing um, will be part-time. <laughs>